This is Bubba. And this is a bean burrito from Taco Bell. Let's see if Bubba wants a bean burrito. Gonna get it? Gone. Good boy, Bubba. You're actually pretty good. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Ow. <laughs> yeah, how'd that feel? Ow! My pinky! Ow! Ow! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, you're right, you're right. I love you too. Okay. Fuck right. <laughs> 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 all of y'all, okay? Dude, bro, that's legit, dude. Also, I'm a girl! Oh! oh it's, I thought you said it! She I said it, I was like, I was like, been a real one. You can leave right here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Akan's mother has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on polls here around the CBD, telling people to call up and impersonate Chewbacca for a chance to win $100. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. Like, all he had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore, I want to move on. The calls have been waking her and her three young children up at odd hours in the evening, and they're yet to stop. <laughs> What about it? It's not funny. So you telling me how to play my music? You trying to tell me how to play my music? I love it. Oh, you. oh, you like it? What I'm listening to then? Yeah, so play it louder. Please? Play it louder? I got to get it all. The fucking... <laughs> this is truly one of the most amazing videos I've seen on the internet. This beekeeper uses this tool to gather the honey. This beekeeper reminds me of how I'd be keeping these nuts in your mouth. Cuidado, perro bravo. Perfect. Say perfect. Perfect. Say perfect. Perfect. Say perfect. Perfect. Say perfect. Fuck it. What? Say perfect. Fuck it. Get the. Get it. But she said, 
quién va a hacer eso? ¿A quién te pareces? Estás guapo, ¿verdad? Do you have anything in your bag, ma'am? No. Any illegal contraband? No, Let me I, see. I, 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 Let me what do you want? Fire truck. What color? Red. Next. As you guys know, I am seven feet tall. See, the ceiling's right here. But I just want to tell you, one thing that really does suck about being seven feet tall is when fire alarms go off. Normally, they're above people, but for me, they're right at my ear. But luckily, fire alarms don't go off that much, so I don't have to worry. Oh! Looking for the win. Scores! Look, I'm under what? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Have a look at the headlock here. See that chap over there? Get your hand off my penis! This is the bloke who got me on the penis before. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Oh, that's a nice headlock, sir. Oh, ah, uh, yes. I see that you know your judo well. And you, sir, are you waiting to receive my limp penis? What is a secret life hack that feels illegal to know? <laughs> um, my name's Skunk, and I'm, I'm going to show you a secret goodwill hack that you pretty much probably didn't already know about pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much every Goodwill has a um, men's jackets area, and um, you pretty much just want to find a good spot. And this is good right here. <laughs> Yo, come on, follow me. <laughs> oh, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, pretty much every Goodwill has one of these. demanding an apology from Elon Musk. Last week, I lost my position at Twitter working as a senior fact checker, which I had been doing for five years, making sure that misinformation did not reach the public that could potentially damage our democracy. And I was told that the reason I was fired is because I had labeled a story about Hillary Clinton misinformation. Now, this story was a story about how Hillary Clinton had smashed her phone with a hammer to hide 30,000 emails. Now, I labeled that story misinformation because 
Hillary Clinton did not personally smash her phone with a hammer. She asked, she requested that her aide smash her phone with a hammer. These are two totally different scenarios, and I was simply pointing out that Hillary Clinton did not smash the phone with a hammer. She asked somebody else to smash her phone with a hammer. Therefore, the story about her smashing her phone to hide evidence is misinformation. Mm -hmm. No! Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs>